Kansas, gateway to Oz. Under the rainbow, this is where it was. Hollyhocks and red ripe tomatoes, and churn homemade ice cream. Let me tell you, Kansas is more than tornadoes. It's the best part of Dorothy. Today on Around Kansas, we start with some Wild West history, then learn about the Big Well in Greensburg, Kansas. Next, meet R. Lee Emery, an Emporia native and retired Marine who went on to be in movies like Apocalypse Now. Next, chocolate lovers learn where to find handmade chocolates in Wichita, and we get a glimpse of the Dillon House in Topeka. Closed captioning brought to you by Kansas Soybean Commission. The Soybean Checkoff. Progress. Powered by Kansas Farmers. Around Kansas. Brought to you by Tarwater Farm and Home. Come on by. We'll treat you like family. Welcome to Around Kansas. I'm Deb Beisel, and I know that a lot of you are like myself, real fans of the Wild West history of Kansas. And gosh, nobody beats what we have here, the stories we've got here in Kansas. And no town has a better Wild West story than Coffeyville. And Coffeyville really got its claim to fame October 5, 1892, when the Dalton Gang, local boys, rode into town with a plan to rob the bank. Not only one bank, two banks. It was a really bold and daring move. It's hilarious to think about it in retrospect. As they rode into town, they're disguised with fake mustaches and fake beards. It must have just been ridiculous looking because they wouldn't have had anything of uh, what we might consider quality or convincing today. But nonetheless, that's how they rode into town. They go into the plaza there in downtown Coffeyville, which is busy, you know, people milling around, and that's when they split up and head for the banks. Didn't quite work out the way they had planned, however. The battle that ensued the attempted bank robberies wound up claiming the lives of eight men. The outlaws Gratt and Bob Dalton, Dick Broadwell and Bill Powers, and four Coffeyville residents, Marshall Connolly, Lucius Baldwin, George Cubine, and Charles Brown, and three other townsfolk were wounded. Now, for nearly two hours after the fight was over, the bodies of Gratt and Bob Dalton and Dick Broadwell lay in what would become known as Death Alley. When the body of Bill Powers was found at the edge of town where he'd fallen off his horse, they put him there too. All four bodies were propped up and photographs were taken. Afterward, the bodies were thrown into the little city jail. The next afternoon, the outlaws were buried in black varnished wood coffins. They covered all but about, recovered all but about $22 of the robbery money. They had taken about 25000 so almost all of that was gotten back. Now, I've got to tell you about this photograph. When these four guys are laying there on the sidewalk and propped up and they're taking pictures, that would have been really common in the 19th century. And these photographs would have been sold just like postcards. Um, it was real common. Um, um, Bill Anderson comes to mind, or Jesse James, when they died, those photographs were very popular souvenirs in the 19th century. Now, what's real interesting about the Dalton gang is even after the bodies were removed, eventually the townspeople painted the figures of those men onto the sidewalk, and they keep that painting. Every time it starts to fade out, they keep that painting retouched and redone to this day. So if you go to Coffeyville today, you can see the paintings of the outlaws. Now, in 1931, Emmett Dalton was about 60 years old, and he and his wife came back to Coffeyville, and a reporter from the Kansas City Star visited with them, and they were retracing his steps along the, um, the hold-up route and through the town. And then they drove out to Elmwood Cemetery, first to the grave of Frank, then to the graves of Gratt and Bob Dalton and Bill Powers. After a time, Emmett Dalton moved from the graves and told McDonald, I challenged the world to produce the history of an outlaw who ever got anything out of it except that, he said, pointing to the graves, or else huddled in a prison cell. The biggest fool on earth is the one who thinks he can beat the law and that crime is made to pay. It never paid, never will, and that's the one big lesson of the Coffeyville Raid. 
Thanks to David Derry for sharing that in the True Tales of Old Time Kansas. We'll be right back. This hog is Hanover Hoof for meal made from U.S. soybeans. Now, one hog isn't that impressive, but suppose we add another, and another, and another. Before long, you've got billions of hungry customers around the world all clamoring for the same thing. Our soybeans. Learn more about the billion-dollar appetite of animal agriculture at beyondtheelevator.com. Brought to you by America's Soybean Farmers and their checkoff. Tallgrass Commodities offers producers bulk commodities at a reasonable price with reliable service throughout the whole Midwest. To find out more about Tallgrass Commodities, visit tallgrass.us or call 785-494-8484. This segment is brought to you by Brown Chevrolet Buick in Wamego, just a short drive down the Yellow Brick Road. Good morning, I'm Frank Chafin and this is Around Kansas. And today I'm fascinated by a big hole in the ground. So I did a little homework. I even wrote it out. Anyway, the big hole in the ground is called the Big Well. And it is big. And it's in Greedsburg, Kansas. So uh, let me tell you a little bit about the history of this Big Well. Um, it, it, it was an amazing feat of engineering in the 19th century. It was started in 1887. And it was finished in 1888 and it ended up 109 feet deep and 32 feet wide. Now get that in your mind if you will. Think about this, uh, if you've ever been to the state capitol in Topeka, go look up in the dome and you'll get kind of an idea of you know, what this thing might look like looking down. Uh, anyway, the, uh, there is a spiral staircase today that you can walk down and down and down into the cavern of this big well in Greensburg, Kansas. Uh, it was opened again to tourists in 2012. If you'll recall in 2007, the town of Greensburg was 95% leveled by a tornado. Okay, let, let's begin the story in 1887. The city granted a franchise for a waterworks. Uh, it was to cost approximately $45,000. Now, in 1887, that was a big sum of money. Uh, it was a good investment since uh, this produced water up until 1932. Remember, this was a hand dug well. Okay, this is the interesting part because workers began working at sun up and they got paid at sundown. So they worked all day and the pay, uh, 50 cents to a dollar a day. Again, in 1887, those were pretty good wages. Uh, crews of 12 to 15, uh, there were farmers, cowboys, transients, uh, worked all day using picks, shovels, half barrels, pulleys, and ropes to dig this huge well, okay? Now, stones used for the walls in the well were brought in by wagons from the Medicine River, which is about 12 miles south of Greensburg. The dirt from the well exca excavation was again hauled away by those same wagons. Now, what did they do with that dirt? Well, the wagon beds were slatted and they could open the slats and slowly let the dirt out. And guess what? They built streets and roads to the well. Waste not, want not back in 1887. Okay, a wide shaft was cribbed and braced every 12 feet with planks. And in other words, it looked like a big wagon wheel. There were braces around the side and with spokes and the workers shoveled dirt into barrels and those were hoisted to the surface. Um, as stone was put in place in the walls then, the braces were removed. Uh, perforated pipes then were driven into the bottom of the well in gravel and this uh, helped the water flow and of course also the purity of, of, the, uh, of the water. This was done to increase the flow of the water in the, in the, in the well basin. Now again, it was completed in 1888, and again, it ended up 109 feet deep and 32 feet in circumference. Uh, the well was covered, but then reopened as, a, uh, as an historic attraction in 1937. In 1972, 
was designated a national museum. Over three million people have descended the metal stairway into the depths of the cavern in this well, the world's largest hand dug well. In 2008, it was, it was also designated one of the eight wonders of Kansas. Now again, in 2007, an F5 tornado destroyed 95% of Greensburg. The town was just gone. And of course, it, it, it took the visitor center too. But the people of Greensburg said, we're not going away, we're gonna rebuild. And in 2012, the visitor center was opened again, and today you can go visit the well, and you can also visit Greensburg, which we will do in other programs here on Around Kansas. It's a remarkable recovery that this town had. So anyway, for now, this is Frank Chafin saying, see you somewhere around Kansas. The Kansas Wheat Innovation Center in Manhattan is rediscovering ways to get improved varieties and new genetics in the hands of farmers faster. Grower-led and checkoff-funded research initiatives are bringing about positive change. This grassroots leadership provides a strong voice in Topeka and Washington, D.C. Now is the time to partner with Kansas Wheat in moving wheat forward. Kansas Wheat Commission and Kansas Association of Wheat Growers, farmers investing in their future and yours. Log on to rediscoverwheat.org. Hey folks, Dr. Dan from Doc Talk. If you miss us on Monday morning, you can join us at 6.30 a.m. every Sunday morning on RFD TV. Doc Talk has a national following. We're sure glad that you joined us on Mondays, but if you miss us and you want to catch us out on a Sunday morning, get up at 6.30 a.m. and we'll be right there, RFD TV, 6.30 a.m. Central Standard Time, and I'll see you down the road. Turn to a Central National Bank Ag Professional. You'll be in good company. They'll help you track expense lines, manage variable input costs, assess ground agreements, pick a crop protection plan. These times demand Ag Professionals. Central National Bank. You could profit from what they know. Ag operations run better on Central Time. Central National Bank. Money for life. Member FDIC in your hometown since 1884. Buying a car shouldn't be this hard. And at Brown Chevrolet Buick in Wamego, it isn't. It's actually awesome. Whether you want a new or used car or truck, Toby's team can make the deal. Even if you want to custom order a new car or truck, Toby's team can make the deal. See Toby's team at Brown Chevrolet Buick in Wamego. We're awesome. Valley Vet Supply is devoted to providing information and professional quality products at reasonable prices. Valley Vet Supply. Around Kansas, brought to you by the Kansas Soybean Commission. The Soybean Checkoff, progress powered by Kansas farmers. Welcome back to Around Kansas. Now, if you've watched TV, if you've been to the movies any time in the last 20 years, chances are you've seen R. Lee Ermey, this Emporia native, Marine Corps veteran, and dynamic personality has just been all over the place. He was obviously born to be a staff sergeant, and his God-given skill as a sergeant is what's made him famous. You might have seen him on a uh, mail call on the History Channel, just any number of things. He had an injury that actually forced him to retire from the Marine Corps, but he um, was at the University of Manila where he was studying criminology and drama and appeared in several Filipino films before he was cast as a helicopter pilot in Francis Ford Coppola's Apocalypse Now. Now, due to his Vietnam experiences, Coppola also used him as a technical advisor. He got a featured role in Sidney Fury's The Boys and Company C, and then was uh, in Purple Hearts in 1984. His most famous role, however, came as Gunnery Sergeant Hartman in Stanley Kubrick's Full Metal Jacket in 1987. Ermey was nominated for a Golden Globe and did win the Best Supporting Actor from the Boston Society of Film Critics. 
Since then, he's appeared in numerous character roles in such films as Leaving Las Vegas, Seven, Dead Men Walking. However, he prefers comedy these days, and he's got a comedic role in Saving Silverman and basically just anything he wants to do. He's just absolutely amazing. Now, the story I heard, I have no idea if this is more than gossip, but when he got the um, role in Full Metal Jacket, he was actually supposed to be an advisor, and they, he was supposed to be training somebody how to perform as a sergeant, and nobody could do what he could do, and it just came naturally to him. And I also heard that uh, Stanley Kubrick is not much on improvisation. He, he likes actors to, to stick to the role that they've got, but with Gunny, hey, you can't beat his improvisation. He's just an amazing character, and it's only fitting that this guy, this incredible poster boy for the Marines, is from Emporia, of course, the birthplace of the Veterans Day Parade. So look out for Gunny. Tell him around Kansas said hello. We'll be right back. From the Land of Kansas is a trademark program that helps Kansas businesses grow, produce, process or manufacture Kansas products. Let's meet Coca Dolce Artisan Chocolates, Wichita's most exquisite chocolate store, located in Bradley Fair. Owner, operator, and master chocolatier Beth Tully creates small batches of her preservative-free confections by hand, using the finest chocolate from around the world and all natural ingredients. Coco Dolce features a variety of bittersweet, milk, and white chocolate truffles and bonbons. The store is also home to Wichita's only wine and chocolate lounge, where guests enjoy eclectic wines paired with chocolates in an intimate setting. For more information, visit them online at www.cocodolce.com. American innovation is being driven in places you might not expect by people like Brent Hayek, an Oklahoma family farmer who recently set a world land speed record in a Ford Super Duty pickup truck powered by renewable B20 biodiesel. Advanced performance is here now, putting America on the fast track to more jobs and energy independence. Biodiesel, America's advanced biofuel. No matter where, no matter why, the Veterinary Health Center at Kansas State University is committed to providing quality patient care to animals and exceptional customer service to their owners. From routine checkups to emergency and specialty care, our world-renowned specialists and experienced professionals are here to discover, to teach, and to heal. Let us know. How can I help? How can we help? When your living depends on agriculture, you can depend on KFRM 550 AM. If you're in the southwest three-fourths of Kansas or the northern half of Oklahoma, catch us at 550 AM on the radio dial. But if that isn't you, listen on your cell phone at TuneIn Radio or on your computer at KFRM.com. We promise to keep you informed, entertained, and company as you go through your day. KFRM 550 AM, the voice of the plains. We would like to join your management team. Tallgrass Commodities offers producers bulk commodities at a reasonable price with reliable service throughout the whole Midwest. To find out more about Tallgrass Commodities, visit tallgrass.us or call 785-494-8484. Around Kansas, brought to you by Santa Fe Trail Meats in Overbrook or visit us online at sftmeats.com. This is going to be our new home for the... Uh, uh, the place where we'd sit and talk about places around Kansas. So we're just thrilled to be partnering with the Pioneer Group who have purchased this incredible historic home and are bringing it back to its former glory. This house was built in 1912, 13, that era. And it was built by Hiram Price Dillon, a businessman and philanthropist from Kansas City, who thought that it would be a little more advantageous to him and have a little more prestige to be in the capital city. So he came to Topeka and built this incredible home, all for entertaining. Everything about this home was to invite people in, for them to enjoy, and that's what's going to happen again right here. The Price home will be finished in, or the Dillon home, will be finished in 
January of 2015, and it will be available for spaces to be rented out for parties and official functions. And they are doing a spectacular job in bringing that back. The library is gorgeous. You've got these beautiful stained glass windows with famous writers depicted in the stained glass. In the main hallway, you have stained glass figures of Lancelot and Guinevere. You've got the lovely gold piano that actually belongs to the Shawnee County Historical Society, but that these guys paid to have restored, and that's going to find its home once again in the Dillon House. So we look forward to meeting you every week from right here at the Dillon House. We look forward to the renovation and seeing all the things as they come along. They've re-added the portico that was originally there and was torn down by the insurance company that was here for a while. The lions, are they not incredible? Those actually came from New Jersey. These were uh, Mr. Dillon's fathers on his estate in New Jersey, and they were brought out here. So there's so many little details, and you stay tuned for the next several months, and we'll bring a little piece to you each week. Soil is the life of a farm, and for 25 years, SureCrop Liquid Crop Nutrition has helped growers produce abundant quality crops while preserving and improving the soils they steward. SureCrop offers complete soil and plant analysis with cropping recommendations, delivery direct to your on-farm storage, and quality crop nutrition custom blended for your field. Choose SureCrop for the assurance of excellence for your soil. Call today or visit their website for more information. When your living depends on agriculture, you can depend on KFRM 550 AM. If you're in the southwest three-fourths of Kansas or the northern half of Oklahoma, catch us at 550 AM on the radio dial. But if that isn't you, listen on your cell phone at TuneIn Radio or on your computer at KFRM.com. We promise to keep you informed, entertained, and company as you go through your day. KFRM 550 AM, the voice of the plains. We would like to join your management team. Car Waters has what you need for all seasons for around the farm and home. Working, hunting, growing, feeding, snow removal, even fun for the kids. And a service department with experienced techs to help keep your equipment in top running condition. Car Waters has a huge selection and the best prices. Tarwater Farm and Home, family owned and operated since 1978. They have what you need. is the fast track to more jobs and America's energy independence. Advanced performance is here now. Biodiesel, America's advanced biofuel. Around Kansas, brought to you by the Kansas Soybean Commission, the Soybean Checkoff, progress powered by Kansas farmers. All of us are familiar with the routine of going to the store to get groceries, but for the cow-calf man, getting groceries has an additional meeting. This poem is entitled, Getting Groceries. Getting groceries is something we have to do for supplies from the store each week or two. There's milk, bread, cereal, eggs, and juice, plus the snacks and drinks that teenagers use. And right before a holiday or before a winter storm, I get amazed at the shopper checkout lines that form. But when I see a cow nursing a baby calf, it reminds me of a cattleman that made me laugh. When he saw a calf nurse one of his tendencies, was to say, that calf is getting groceries. I thought it was a funny saying back in the day, but now I understand it in a modern way. For we all need food to help sustain and grow, just like that newborn calf will undergo. While humans go to the garden or to the store, of course, the calf gets his nutrition direct from the source. We have had a bottle calf, which our kids think is fun, but it takes time and trouble to get those chores done. So I give thanks for my favorable luck when I see a new calf that will stand and will suck. Now the wife says our kitchen inventory needs to rebuild, so we'll be getting groceries for the pantry to be filled. But for the cow-calf man, there's nothing better somehow than to see a calf getting groceries from a mama cow. Happy trails. Closed captioning brought to you by Kansas Soybean Commission. 
The Soybean Checkoff, progress, powered by Kansas farmers. Welcome to Kansas, gateway to us. Under the rainbow, this is where it was. Hollyhocks and red ripe tomatoes. And churned homemade ice cream. Let me tell you, Kansas is more than tornadoes. We're the best part of Dorothy's dream. We're the best part.